Welcome to Empowerment Radio. My name is Dr. Friedman, and I'm so glad that you decided to join me. Empowerment Radio is about giving you the insights, tools, and solutions to address some of the most challenging aspects of our daily lives. So sit back, relax, and empower yourself. You are stressed. You feel like, oh my God, you know, everything is too much. You naturally go into survival mode, you contract, you, you get tense. And now what does the chi, just like as a, as a visual, what does a chi do when you are working with chi gong? I mean, is it chi that you are using from the outside to clean out the inside? Or are you moving the chi inside of a person or what, what happens? Yeah, that's really a um, good question. So, well, first of all, when we're recognizing the nature of existence is energy, including this body carry all this level, different level of energy, as I mentioned, then you understand life, basically, you know, internal energy, external energy, this is inconsistent interaction, interaction happening, it, the flow is happening. So, when we experiencing challenge right now, as you summarize beautifully, as a result of everything we're experiencing right now is stress. But often we're talking about stress is about stressful circumstance of life. And we forget about what stress means in the body, in the energy body. So really internally, stress means is, is your own energy body responding to external circumstances, which right now is challenging. So you don't know what to do with it. Then the energy body contract, contract. Right. So that means right. the circumstance, the challenges is beyond what you can handle with the easiness. Yeah, with the confidence, with the knowing. Then your whole being contract. So the energy of your brain contract energy of your nerve system contract, energy of muscle tissue, energy of your five organ system contract. So when the energy contract, what happened is all functioning of your physical body, emotional body, even mental body compromised. It's not functioning in optimum state, basically. It's beyond just balance. Yeah. So, right. so it's not about just balance. It's about this dynamic uh, flow, dynamic uh, you know, it's like tension and openness, tension, openness. If there's no tension, there's no life. But if, if, if you're stuck with the tension, contract it. If cannot open, then every function shut down eventually. Then eventually what happened is you'll be diagnosed, you know, with all kinds of issues physical issue, you know, especially nowadays, some this big list of health issues diagnosis, right. you know, incurable, chronic condition. And then also emotional issue, anxiety, depression. It's happening so much right now. According to one of the statistics, uh, is more than 50% of people reporting some kind of a clinical depression. And that is overwhelming. Imagine that. Imagine right. if the whole humanity is functioning from this place of depression, what kind of life we can, <laughs> you know, predict, what kind of future we can have for our next generation. It's, it's like so, you know, overwhelmingly scary on one hand. But on the other hand, most of us not recognizing the issue. The issue is in our body. So most of the time, the issue is happening in the body, but the mind body is disconnected. We're so much in the head. We're so much entangled with uh, something else, someone else, you know, with the news, with all the story, all the information that you mentioned. All this information, whether it's true or not, mostly, unfortunately, is creating not only more stress, but doesn't really resolving anything. It's, it's really getting ourselves entangled. So all this information continuously programming this energy body with more stress, more anxiety, more limitation, more hopelessness, more fear. Then this body can continuously contract. So the first step 
I think is the most important step right now. Before you can change anything, you have to come back to your own body, connecting with your own body, recognizing this is your own body, recognizing this body is taking on all the stress is happening right now, but also it has accumulated stress from childhood. Continue on right. to this moment. Yeah, decades of- I think that's that recognition of your own body, I completely agree, is really what creates in that moment a pause. Yeah. It's almost like from looking always outside of you by looking at yourself, it's almost like you're feeling, you're creating a barrier between what happens outside and who you are. Because, you know, that's a sponge effect that I often see with people that are sponging up energy and sponging yeah. up stress and, and just being aware of that. That's a, that's a beautiful uh, way of starting. Just, it's very simple. Just like you said, being aware of your body as a first step is, is just, uh, yeah, it's probably the most important step. It is most important step, but also, you know, it's simple, but actually not easy to do because we are not trained that way. We didn't grow up that way. Yes. <laughs> then the, the, when you coming back to your body, then you, the, 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 the difficult part is, oh, I have a pain, have stress, have tension here, have anxiety, have all the story <laughs> of the mind interpreting what's happening. We also have all the in, you know, uncertainty about you know, the, your diagnosis, all the issues. Then the mind start to run away from the body again. You know, That's do true. something else, you know, justification of your pain, analyze of your pain, complain of your pain, you know, <laughs> then you're searching for someone else, please help me, help me. So you continue this kind of dynamic trying to run away from what is true inside of you. So how do you then shift from yeah, the contraction? Yeah, so that is where the proactive process can help you. So on one mm -hmm. hand, meditation, connecting with your body, mindfulness of your sensation, feeling, your thoughts inside of you can be really helpful. But that's not enough, not enough. So the second aspect is you engaging a proactive connection with your body. And the technique is very simple. You do movement, as you mentioned, for example, Tai Chi-like movement is flowing, continuously flowing. So you're not just the stretching, you're not just the breathing, it's, it's continuous flow. So no matter how difficult experience you notice in your body from stress, from tension, from life in general, when you're moving suddenly, oh, just like traffic. When the traffic is moving, you feel okay. When the traffic stuck, <laughs> then the tension building up. <laughs> then imagine yes. the tension building up over the, you know, 24 seven, over the lifetime. So when suddenly you're promoting movement, the traffic gradually move, open, now, open. So you're moving all these simple area, I mean, important area. You're moving your shoulders, certain areas, very slowly, gently, but the key is repetition. Yeah, you're moving your arms certain way, yeah. Uh, opening the meridian point of your fingers, energetically connecting with your arm, connecting with your heart, connecting with your brain, connecting with the entire meridian system. So this, this movement is simple, but it's very purposeful. It's designed not only to relax you, but to activate in the internal energy flow, internal energy connection. And mm. for example, they also you move in the spine a certain way you know, angulating your spine, angulating your spine. Suddenly the energy start to open, connecting, releasing the tension from the spine, nerve system, muscle tissue around it. And then the, the brain awakening certain ways in these simple movement. And, but you concentrate internally. So most of the movement we do is with your eyes closed. So it's different from exercises. Exercise is your mind engaged with something else when you having walk out of your body, whether you know using a machine or using you're still watching a TV, whatever. You know, you're looking around, what's happening. 
it's like here is deeply internally concentrate. That's yes, the most important yeah. piece. So you, your eyes closed, you're connecting with your body, you're aware of the sensation feeling, you're initiating this moment with the purpose of connecting with your body, opening the energy, awakening the energy. So the first step, most important step is uh, after connecting with your body, allowing this proactive practice, um, including the movement, including the sound, the vibration, including visualization, you opening the energy. Basically, you're shifting from the old pattern of contraction. As we mentioned, this contraction is a result of stress. Yeah. Yes. It's a result yes. of life trauma. It's a result of disconnection from your soul, from life in general. So this contract, the pattern, is the cause of all the issue, health issue, emotional issue, mental issue, even feeling of isolation right now. We're feeling so much isolation in the pandemic. And so- Now I have to stop you for a second because we have to take a quick break, but please, uh, yeah. we'll be right back. And I, I, I do have a question after the break about the movement from the body to the emotions, because I know some uh, people that have been practicing yoga, Tai Chi, one is even a Tai Chi master, but he's one of the most anxious people I know. So what is it where, where there is, you know, something we can do to let this energy not only decontract our body, but also decontract our mind. So we'll be right back. Hi, Dr. Friedman here. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about fear and anxiety, here you'll find guided meditations, webinars, and interviews with some of the most renowned experts in the field of empowerment. Delve into the over 230 videos and more to come every week.